Hi everyone, I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to create pages in Builder and use them in your WordPress site. I will show you two ways. One is where we could create content in Builder and just grab code snippet, and paste it into WordPress pages, and every time we make updates in Builder, they'll show up in WordPress. And number two, the more advanced way, is you can have your developer, if you have one, actually hook up uh, Builder's APIs so that as you make updates inside of Builder, they automatically show up on your WordPress site and they use server-side rendering so they might load a little bit faster. So first, the easy way. So if we go in and create a new page, uh, I'll call it demo, and I'll start blank. I'll just quickly put together a super duper lovely page here so we can see it in our WordPress site. Let's just use a couple little templates and voila, I love it. So in order to put this on your WordPress site, first let's publish this. Because when we embed the code, it'll always show on your site the latest published content in Builder. So if nothing's published, nothing will show. So now to get the code, hit the three dots in the top right corner and then hit get code. Then scroll all the way to the right here and you'll see a WordPress code snippet option. Click on that and then click this little icon to copy that to your clipboard. You can also manually select and then control or command C. Now, if we go over to WordPress, I can make a new page. Where's my pages? There we go. Create new. And it looks like I'm using the new editor here. So I'll show you how to do it in the new editor first. I'll use a blank layout. So in the new format, just hit custom HTML and paste your HTML in. Now, if you're using the old format for WordPress, let me see if I remember how to even go to that. Yeah, classic editor. If you're using the classic editor, just make sure you're editing in the text mode with this tab on the right, not the visual mode. And again, just paste the code and publish. And then what you have here will display on your WordPress site. And anytime you make changes over in Builder, it'll reflect on your WordPress site. And that's it. Uh, one thing to know, you need to make sure to have unfiltered HTML um, compatibility with WordPress. Most WordPress sites, that's okay. Any WordPress site that lets you embed scripts, you can embed this. In some occasions, you can't because of filtering. Um, if that's the case, you need to make sure your WordPress account allows it. Um, if you have trouble with that, just contact me at steve at builder.io. I can help you out with options there. And now, the more advanced way, uh, if any of you are not developers or don't use developers, you can ignore the rest of this. But the advanced way, if you go over to our documentation here, you hit learn, and then go over to API docs. This describes how to use Builder's APIs. That means you can have your developer hook up to your WordPress site, um, a way that when any time a page request comes into your WordPress site, and WordPress doesn't match it to a page inside of its own database or something hard-coded in your PHP WordPress code, you can use our HTML API to hit Builder with your API key and what the URL is, and Builder will respond if it has a page. If it has a page for that URL, it'll give you the full HTML. You can just stick that in your template and send that back to your end users. Um, you can see a full guide of our HTML API over here, including examples, all the different params you can send. But if you do that, then anytime someone creates a page in Builder and gives a URL, hits publish, it'll just show up automatically on your site. And in this format, it'll render server-side too, which can be a little more ideal for things like server-side, or sorry, for performance and SEO. Um, anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please contact me at steve at builder.io or any of us at help at builder.io. Thanks.